Hi, this is Alan from Hawk Dive, but welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to talk about something that is incredibly new, that is incredibly amazing as well. It is a new game called Sumplit, which is kind of similar to Sudoku in a way. It is entirely coded with chat GPT. So I did similar things in this, you know, in this YouTube channel here at Hawk Dive and even our articles over at hawkdive.com. But those games, I kind of just recreated games that already existed, such as Ping Pong and Flappy Bird. But for this one, this is an entirely new game that has its own way of being played, has its own mechanics. And um, yeah, why don't I just show it to you and talk about it? So how do you access it? There are two ways of accessing it. One is through your browser, which is the easiest way by simply heading over to your browser and typing in www.sumplate.com or you can just do sumplate.com and then this will pop up. Literally, this is the website. I know it looks like, hey, Alan, that, that looks very, very normal. It doesn't look too good of a, a game, but think about it. This game is created for those people who wanna improve their cognitive skills in a way, especially mathematics. Uh, as the name suggests, complete kind of sounds like summation complete. So basically, how the game works, it actually has, you know, if you scroll down the page of it, you will actually have access to how do you play the game and what is Sumplate about? You know, how does things work? Uh, basically, you can read this if you want it. You can visit the own website, but personally, I'll just show it to you. So here is how the game works. On the home, you have the games. You can change it to the daily five by five. You press that, you, there's like a timer. And as you can see, you have to complete it five by five. And then the daily seven times seven, seven of seven. Now the game works as for this one right here. Uh, let's say it says one, nine, six for the right side. For the bottom is one, 14, one. We want to complete it, of course. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to exit out the numbers that I don't need. For this one, I'm going to complete one. Uh, for the nine, I'm going to do this. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. So the first click is an X. The second click is a circle. So that means if it is an X, we're going to remove it. If it is a O or a green zero, whatever you want to call it, the circle, it is going to keep it. So right here, we just did this. We can, we can, we can still do this if you want, but we don't have to. For this one, we just have to do that. Then for this one, we can go and exit out of this. And then let's exit that one as well. Now, as you can see, I didn't complete this one. The 14 did not go through. So how would that work? Well, how do we get 14? We need eight and six. So now, now I have to keep that. But now, as you can see, six and one is not here. So I got to exit this out. This, that one out and as you can see we now completed the one nine six one fourteen one that makes sense it does and as you can see puzzle solved well done now let's try and do um more later on but i'm gonna show you how to get it over on your phone specifically android phones there's no official version yet on the ios devices as i have recently checked maybe just for my country which is philippines but I'm going to show it to you over at Android. So here, I'm going to open up Nox Player, which is the emulator that I use to emulate Android. But basically, you just have to go to your app store, search for Sumplit, Sumplit Game by ChatGPT. I'm going to open that one up. And right here, we're going to click on Install. So of course, it's going to download it. You can see Sumplit Game by ChatGPT, literally created by Daniel Tate. There you go. Now we can easily click on Play. This would give us access to the game. Complete. And then there you go. Now it looks a little different. It has more GUI. Uh, this is ported from the Sumplete, like actual AI or not AI, but the creation of Sumplete. They just ported it over at Android and added some skins on top, basically adding a better looking graphical user interface. But the gameplay is pretty much the same. Let's do play one, level one. It looks and you know, it looks better, of course, but the whole gameplay still relies on how they created Sumplete right here over at the website. So again, you do eight. So basically second circle that does both of that. 
Now for 15, we can do nine and six. So for four, we're probably going to do this and then it needs eight. So that should be enough. So now if we do X of all of that and then boom, we're good to go. We can tap to continue. We get coins and those coins, you know, we can use to buy some stuff in the market. But right now, as you can see, there's just the hint and the restart. So we can do this one as well. We can, we need three, two, and one. So we're probably just going to do three, two, and then one. And we're going to try to exit out everything, speed it up and cool. Now we can tap on continue. It's basically just to make you faster with math in a way. So as you can see, we need zero, zero for this one. So we're literally going to exit all of those out. We're going to keep one and eight and we're going to delete what we don't need. It is as simple as that. Of course, the more levels that we play over in this, you know, version of the game, which is on Android, the more harder it will be as, you know, as we level up and levels. Let's see how much we can do for this one. So, you know, we, we need nine, we need two for this one, which means we got to keep that one up and then we're going to need the seven. And then first we're going to remove that, the one that we don't need. <laughs> So we're going to move on. As you can see, it has increased on level. It is now a four by four instead of a three by three. So, you know, we need one, we need five, which is this two. We need 14, which is this. And then we need six for this one, one of the six. So now if I exit out all of these theory, which I was right, I should be, you know, accepting our answers. So right here, we need 10. So we're going to do this. This is my initial, you know, take for that one. We need eight for this one. So this is going to be my initial take. Also going to be the initial take. We're going to remove the two. We need the nine, which means this two. And then for the 18, easy as that. Basically, all you have to do, again, repeating it, you know, you got to highlight everything that would, you know, sum up into the numbers that are present on the column and the row on the sides. So let's do up to level 10 because why not? So let's do this one. I'm probably going to keep that. I'm going to do 19, uh, 15. So that means I'm going to remove this. Uh, it does, you don't have to actually circle everything. All you have to do is exit out the things that you're not going to be needing. So right here, I remove those. Oh, we just need the six. So I'm going to remove that. We just need the eight, so I'm going to remove that. Boom. Easy as one, two, and three. This is actually a pretty fun game. I would probably have this on my phone if I, if I did have, um, you know, the capability of actually installing this game because this game actually allows you to math better, if that makes sense. Because, you know, not everyone in today's day and age are literally into math because why be into math if you can if you can be you know someone that is capable of playing better games than math because let's be honest a lot of people tend to just forget about school and mathematics because there are games that are more into you know the graphical side of things more interesting to play over games such as this one but this one actually levels it up because Think about it. There are, you know, you are now capable of playing games like this that are clearly, not clearly, but it is coded specifically to increase your cognitive skills. And also, think about this. It was created with just ChatGPT. Literally with just ChatGPT. That is just amazing. Anyway, I'm going to move on here. I'm going to exit out what I don't need. And there you go. Cool. Now we're on our last level, which is level 10. Oh, we're going to get a five by five. We're going to finish this one and that'll be it for the Android side of things. So right here, we need six. So I'm going to take a good guess. I would probably, you know what? This one's a little harder because it's a lot bigger numbers now. So let's see, we need 21. So nine, we got 15 right here, 15. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep everything like that for now, just for now. Now we need 26 for this one. So this is currently 17. I think we just exit that one out. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, let's see. This one's a, little, a lot more challenging. So all of these sides should be an X. This is a seven nine. Oh, my bad. All of this should be an X. This should be a 12, which means this should actually be present. But if this is present, that's going to be on zero. So we cannot have that. Oh, there you go. Fixed it. Um, and then right here, we need the eight. Just going to do that. Right here, we just need the six. So we're going to... Re oh, wait. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. We need the zero for this one. We need the 17 for this one. Okay, cool. Now we need the nine for this one. There you go. Boom. That is it. And that literally gave me plus five points on my brain. But yeah, there's a lot more things such as the dice with this one. And you also have daily missions such as that one. But, you know, you can change your difficulty once you unlock more. But that is complete over at Android. Now going back to the website. Again, we can do the daily five by five. 7x7, seven seven. let's do one right now and let's see how well we can do. Same gameplay as that one. So basically, we do 9. Which means something is wrong. We have taken too much time. No, I'm not going to be able to finish it. I'm going to clear it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I failed everybody at Hawk Dive and you guys from the chat. But as you can see, that was, that was me using my brain and I kind of liked the feeling because not all the time you use your brain nowadays for things such as math. But I think this is an amazing game invented by Daniel Tate, even though he just coded it with ChatGPT. It is still his imagination that allowed ChatGPT to create games such as this one. Anyway, I think that would be it for me. Again, my name is Alan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Check us out over at our social media, such as TikTok, uh, this YouTube channel, of course, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, our website, which is hogdive.com. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.